You've created a chart with matplotlib, and now you want to actually save that chart to disk. In this video, I'll show you two ways you can save your plots as images. The first method is by using matplotlib's savefig function. And for this method, you don't necessarily have to show your plot first. All you have to do is define the path and the name for your file, and save your plot in a desired format, like PNG, SVG, PDF, etc. It defaults to PNG if you don't specify it. The savefig function also has some optional arguments like DPI, which can be used to set the resolution of your image. The default value is 100, so you can increase that number to improve the resolution. As you can see, scores 2 has a lot better resolution than the original scores. Bbox inches, which can be used to alter the size of the bounding box or the white space around the output image. It's in inches of all measurement systems, but in most cases, I use Bbox inches equals tight because I don't like having any extra white space. Face color, which can be used to set the background of your image. And we'll make it red to make it super duper clear. And transparent, which can be set to true to make the background of your chart to be transparent. There are more optional arguments to save fig, and you can see them in matplotlib's docs page linked in the description below. With all that, if you don't want to deal with writing the code to save your plots just to delete them over and over again to avoid the messiness in your notebook, which I used to do all the time, there's also a button for saving plots if you use Visual Studio Code. You can click on the Save As button to save your output image directly to your disk. Now you know how to save your plots as images. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more data science tips with VS Code.